What's up guys, Chris here from Security Bros, back with another video. And today we are taking a closer look at the ANRAN P2 Pan and Tilt Wi-Fi IP security camera. Is it any good? Let's find out. So what we got here is a cheap outdoor budget pan and tilt Wi-Fi IP camera from ANRAN and this camera comes with four built-in spotlights so it can record in full color at night. It also uses four infrared lights for normal black and white night vision. Image quality is like most of these cheap cameras, not very impressive, but I still think for the price you pay for this camera, it is acceptable. And it will be hard to identify someone or read license plates unless they are really close to the camera. At night it is a bit blurry and some ghosting going on when there is movement, but I think it looked a little bit better when using the spotlights for full color night vision. And this camera does not support human detection, so I did get a few false alarms, but you can adjust the sensitivity and set a detection area to minimize false alarms. Other than that I had no problems with the camera, and the camera is made of plastic like most of these cheap pan and tilt cameras are, and even though it's an outdoor camera it's probably a good idea to place the camera under some kind of cover, just to make sure it will last as long as possible. So at the moment when I record this video, the camera sells for $45 on Amazon. And for full transparency to you guys, Anran did send me this camera over for review. However, any opinions in this video are strictly my own based on my experiences testing this camera out. And if you're interested in buying this camera, you will find my affiliate links in the video description below with the most updated prices. The camera records in 1080p at 15 frames per second and it can pan 355 degrees and tilt 90 degrees. There is no optical zoom, only 4 times digital and no preset points or auto tracking. And this camera works with an app called Cloud Edge and when the camera detects motion it will send you an instant push notification to your phone that you can view directly in the app from playback saved on the microSD card. If you want you can also use their cloud service, but that's optional. And the camera supports up to 128GB microSD card, and you can record 24-7 or only when motion is detected. And the app is the only way to access the camera I believe, there is no web interface or Onviv support. It does support two-way audio, so you can talk and listen through the camera. And this is how it sounds like when I talk through the camera. You can also use an alarm when motion is detected, but that only works at night. According to ANRAN the camera has an IP66 rating, which means the camera should be weatherproof, and the working temperatures are minus 20 to 60 degrees Celsius, or minus 4 to 130 degrees Fahrenheit. Ok, so what we get in the box is the camera, power adapter, quick start guide, drill plate and a bag with screws. On the front of the camera we got the lens, 4 spotlights, 4 infrared lights, the light sensor, indicate the light and the microphone. On the back we got the speaker and under this cover we will find the SD card slot and the reset button. So to connect the camera to the app was really easy and you will find the app on Google Play Store or App Store depending on what device you are using. When you have the app open tap on the plus icon to add a new device. Then floodlight camera and just follow the on screen instructions and that's it. So in here we can watch live view, turn on and off audio, change the image quality and full screen. And down here we can switch between live, playbacks from the SD card and the cloud if you're using that. And here we can take a snapshot, talk through the camera, record video, access motion detection, turn on and off, PTZ controls, alarm and album. And to access the camera settings we tap up here, and I will just quickly show you the most useful settings. In image settings we can flip the screen and change the night vision mode. In alarm management we can set the motion detection sensitivity, detection area and the alarm settings. In recording management we can turn on 24-7 recording or event recording, check the SD card status and format the SD card. And that's about it, let's have a look at some recordings. Here we have daytime recording 1080p at 15 frames per second with audio turned on and here I am at around 10 meters from the camera. Okay. 
and a short clip when a car drives by. Here I test the pan and tilt and as I said before this camera does not support preset points or auto tracking. This is at night using the infrared lights. And at night using the spotlights for full color night vision. And when some car drives by at night with full color. Alright guys, thank you for watching this video and if you're interested in more videos like this, why not hit that subscribe button and give the video a like and I see you in the next one.